We all know that we should be taking breaks when we work behind the computer, but when we focus on the, on the job, well, we forget to take breaks. Today I want to show you a small freeware which is great to remind you that you need to take breaks. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, economist, posture therapist, author of the posture manual and creator of three online posture programs. This video is also a way for me to thank the guys who have taken their time to develop this software for free for us to use it. It's called WorkRave. WorkRave has been out there for, for years. It's, as far as I know, only for PC. There's an equivalent for Mac, which, which is called Timeout, but I have no experience with Timeout because, well, I work on PC. When you install the program, you'll see a small window that has three timers. And one timer is for micro breaks, one timer is for so-called rest breaks, and the third one is for the daily limit. We'll take them one after the other. The, the micro break is really the moment where you take off your hands from the keyboard and you look through the windows. So we could say it's the one that helps you implement the 20-20-20 rule, which is that every 20 minutes you should be looking through the window for 20 seconds by uh, at 20 meters but i find that every 20 minutes is maybe a bit not frequent enough for such micro breaks especially when it comes to neck and shoulders things so you know for every timer i'm going to give you two proposed settings one if you have a lot of pain and one if you're in normal rhythm and while well, you can do anything in between the two, test it for yourself. What I would suggest if you're in very much pain is to have a 15 seconds micro break every five minutes. If you're fine, you can take a longer break, micro break, 30 seconds, but every 12 minutes only. But again, the idea is really you take off your hands, you relax a bit, you look through the window, and then we start again. The second timer, rest breaks, is for longer breaks. So this is to relax larger group of muscles. It is typically the timer that will remind you to stand frequently enough. Now, this timer, I think, should be adjusted to around three minutes every 20 minutes if you're in big pain, so that you really, you know, often have to get out of your chest. So the, you see, the timer has to be really quite long enough. If you're fine, well, you can take this three to five minutes break every 40 minutes. Why every 40 and not every 60 minutes? Because we should not sit for more than 30 minutes in a row. So, you know, if we want to push it to 40 for not being interrupted for five minutes every 30 minutes, okay, fine with me. But I find it a bit excessive to be reminded that you should stand up every hour only. The cool thing with th this type of software, commercial software also, is that, you know, as they monitor what you do with your keyboard and your mouse, if you take so-called natural breaks, i.e. your working rhythm already um, implements such breaks, well, you will never see the software. It will scream at you only if you don't take the breaks. So, you know, it can be annoying sometimes to have this window come in front of you whilst you're focused on something. And this is why you have two options. One which is okay, which is postpone the break, but don't postpone it by too much, you know, postpone it typically by 10% of the duration between two breaks. And the other one is skip. I mean, I have to be honest, I also sometimes skip some breaks, but at least you will get a reminder of the time that goes, you know, you will not suddenly wake up after two hours and say, Shh, I've not been um, in, uh, aware of the time that was passing by. That's it for WorkRave. Many thanks to the developers again. And if you find this video useful, well, as usual, like, share, comment. That will be useful for everybody.